Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel with Cheeky Scientist. And this week we got a great question from Adriana Gomez uh, on Twitter at Derizin A. <laughs> That's her Twitter name. Uh, so her question is, Adriana's question is, what do you think about a PhD taking a trainee position as a way of getting into the pharma industry? Uh, we get these questions a lot, uh, whether or not it's a trainee position or an internship or a short-term short contract. Uh, and the answer is always the same. Number one, it's got to be right for you and for your career path. Uh, so, so try to think with you know the end in mind. Where do you want to end up and will this position actually help you get there or will it delay you into getting into that position? Because a lot of internships, uh, a lot of trainee positions, contract positions, they can help you get into a certain type of career, but sometimes they can uh, inhibit you from getting into that career. So you have, to, you have to make sure you do your homework and make sure that it's going to help you get into the career you want faster, not slower. Uh, if you take on a year contract uh, for a trainee position, for an internship, uh, could, could very well slow you down. Uh, number two, make sure you've exhausted all of all of your other options. If you want to get into the pharma industry or the biotech industry or, or any industry, uh, have you applied to these positions and tried to get a, a full-time position, a full salary position? Um, if you're accepting a trainee position because you don't think you can get a full-time position or because you've uploaded a few resumes and haven't heard back, that's not a good enough reason uh, to resign yourself to, to being a trainee. After all, you know, you've been in academia for 20-some years. Uh, it's time to move forward and get into a full salaried position, which you can do. Uh, so make sure that you've applied all, you know, all the networking strategies, gotten referrals, got, gone on interviews, done everything you can to get into the industry of your choice. And then if your only option is to get into a contract position or a trainee position, uh, then accept it. And then finally, once you get an offer for a contract position, for a trainee position, for an internship, whatever it might be, make sure you go back to everybody else you've been networking with. Uh, go back to anybody you've interviewed with, uh, any hiring managers or recruiters you've talked to, and tell them you got an offer. Tell them you got an offer for a position, um, but you're still very interested in their company, and you'd like to know whether or not they'd be able to extend an offer or uh, have an interview on, on short notice. All right, so make sure you're leveraging it uh, no matter what the offer is. Uh, so those three points will help you and hopefully answer this question on whether or not you should take a, a trainee position. Uh, so until next time, uh, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.